Hello guys, welcome to the 11th video of this tutorial series Android application development using Kotlin. In the last video we discussed about MVP pattern. Now in this video we are going to go into the code implementation of MVP pattern, how it can be implemented. So what I planned today is a simple application with one text view and one button. Uh, the initial value in the text view will be set to zero and once the once the button is clicked the value of the text view will keep on increasing by one so that's all the application uh, we are going to do today but that will be implementing using mbb patterns so let me go to my text view i've already created my text view like i said i just have one text view and one button here both have ids and let's just give initial text as zero okay uh, so if you remember the previous discussion what i had told you is in mvp pattern the weight or the responsibility of controller and view are comparatively decreased using interface so we're going to use the exact same thing here first of all let me create all the all the necessary packages and after that we'll dive into coding part so let's go to the base package let's create a package here called view first another package called model another package for presenter and one last package for interfaces okay I'm going to click this view and move this inside view part or the view folder here so it's inside the view folder the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with our interface so we'll be creating new interfaces here one new interface which is going to have uh, sub interfaces for each and every model view and presenter so let's just go in new Kotlin class it's inside interface okay class let me define um, package or P interface this P interface okay now inside this oh, sorry I have tried to define this as interface not class okay P interface now inside this I'm going to define other interfaces so the first interface is going to be for my view let me write okay you might get confused so many views here so let me write data view this view will have just two methods fun init view first of all to initialize my view and then to update my view so yeah those two methods another interface will be for presenter so what presenter will be responsible for is presenter whenever the button is clicked that action will be read by presenter and then uh, the presenter will ask the model to increase the value so there has to be a function for increment of value and whenever the view needs to be updated the presenter will take the value from the model and then give it to the view so we need another get maybe counter counter and let me take this in the form of string okay now another interface is for model my model let me write data model so it has two responsibilities first of all it needs to increase the counter okay increment counter and then the second responsibility it has is to get counter value from the presenter pass through the view or from the view pass through presenter okay the interfaces are done now 
let's go to let's go creating a model first so a model so the model will be again a Kotlin class let me write main activity model this is going to be a class in fact okay and this is going to implement the data model from the interface so implement methods both the methods and what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, declare a private variable counter and I'm going to set this value to zero for now in increment counter I'm just going to increase the value of counter plus plus and in here I'm just going to return the value of my counter okay our main activity model is done let's go getting our presenter again Kotlin file class class let's name it main activity presenter so this presenter is going to have a view from our data view interface and this is going to return a presenter type class so implement methods all the methods mm, I'm going to declare two variables here so first is private variable view and this view is of type data view and let me initialize the same same view inside this one here the other is private variable model and the type of this is data model and my model name is main activity model okay main activity model okay also an init method at first at first we are going to initialize our view or view dot init view okay in case of increasing the in while we increasing our value we just need to call model dot increment counter and view dot update view that's all and whenever we are receiving the value we just need to return model dot get counter dot to string since it has string data type so this is also done now finally let's go to our main activity main activity implements our main activity extends app combat activity and our data view so let's implement all the methods we only have two methods as you, as you can see and let me first declare a presenter private var let me write presenter this is going to be of type main activity presenter let's just give it null for now here I'm going to initialize my presenter so presenter equals to main activity presenter and this will need a view here since we have a view in a constructor here okay so we're just passing the view as a constructor now in our init view what we need to do is we need to initialize our component so we have a, a view where where we are going to show our number in the layout file that is result so result dot text equals to presenter dot get counter okay something is wrong with result let me see 
okay it was not important just tell it all time terrace so this needs a not not null assertion so let me give that and finally <coughs> i also want to place click in my button so set on click listener i could do on click listener here but i could also directly implement this one so this is like implementing on click listener so here i can do whenever you're pressing a button you need to increase your value by one so increment value also a not null assertion here now finally in our update value we just need to update the value in our result so result dot text equals to presenter dot okay okay it's done so uh, we've implemented everything no errors yet so let me run the application i'll i'll run the application first and then explain it to you while the application is running so let me open my screen projection here okay it's open let me run the application So while the application is running, you can see there are separate interfaces for everything, presenter, model, and view, and uh, everything is separated here, okay? Everything is separated, nothing is interlinked here. So previously, the result should have been zero. Okay, that didn't appear, it's fine. Uh, let me click the button once and then see what happens. So whenever I click the button, the value changes to one so how does this happen so whenever i click the button uh, the presenter is given a signal to increase the value so let me go to increment value so increment value what happens is it calls the model and then and, and then inside that i have a function increment counter it goes inside increment counter okay let me go to data model and then increment counter so what happens here is counter plus plus equals to one now it does not end there you also need to uh, show that result in update view too here so what happens is presenter is going to ask for what value is now updated and then what is the current value so it goes to model back again and then the current value is retrieved here so as you can see the model and the view directly do not communicate with each other it always communicates through the presenter mm, okay and then these interfaces actually defines everything or each and every functionality that a, a package needs to do so a so a data view needs just and just to initialize view and then update the view that's all the function the view has to do the presenter has to increase the value and then get the value from the data model and in the data model the data model just needs to increase the value as per presenter's instructions and then return the value back to the view through the presenter so i hope you understand this uh, obviously this needs a little bit more practice but we'll be doing a couple of applications in mvp uh, in the upcoming video um, and only after that we'll be moving on to MVVM. So thank you for listening. Uh, if you have any kind of confusion or have any kind of problems, please do comment down below in the comment section and I'll try to uh, address your problems. Uh, do subscribe the channel uh, and stay updated. So I'll see you in the next video.